well done. Yeah, I mean, there's next year there's the 15 year 15 year anniversary of the original. Oh, so okay. So you planned this. It, it better this be looking a bit yeah. better. Okay. Um, well done. But yeah, it's uh, the team is known for their for their very high visual quality as well, mm -hmm. and and they've done a great job of translating that very unique art style as well. It has yes. this kind of mix of a little bit cartoony, but also Still quite little, realistic. Yeah, a little bit of um, realism in there. Yeah, so, so it needs to be a, a little realistic as well so that you really feel like you're destroying Earth, not just something. Understandable. So what are some of the things that you've updated? Obviously, you've done the graphics. So what else have you guys been working on? Um, well, basically, um, I don't know if you guys can already that, hear that the cutscenes. All right, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically one of the first things is, for example, the cutscenes, which uh, basically the original had about like three CGI cutscenes and then mm -hmm. rather basic in-game cutscenes. Well, yeah, so we've what you had basically put a lot of effort into um, working, making the cutscenes much more uh, elaborate. It's all motion mm -hmm. captured. It's, oh wow! It's, okay. Yeah, the, full, the whole game, everything's motion captured. That's impressive, actually. Can we actually hear the dogs? I actually don't know. It's being pushed to stream, not to us. All right. So they can hear it. Okay, cool. They'll push it here in Let's a second. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure so this how many people are currently working on this game right it is now? Um, on the game, there's more than 60 people the at the cow. development stu studio. Well, yeah, yeah, they're one of our biggest developers' studios. Motion cap. Yeah, the devel and and um, so yeah, huge team. Everybody, big fans of the game, of course. And um, something like the motion capturing these cutscenes that's uh, done externally. So, if in in total, there's obviously much more people working on this. Yes, yes. There's uh, even just more than 60 people just working at the developer. Wow. Um, okay. And so, as you can see from the characters, like in their their facial movements and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff, has been much more improved. But we kept. The original dialogue, the banter between these two aliens, Crypto, <laughs> Crypto One Three Seven, who is like the iconic uh, main character behind everything. He's on. He's on, on everything. everything. Yeah, yeah, his face is just Poster. plastered across E3. Very famous. Um, and then Pox is basically his sidekick general, mm -hmm. who's like the calm one, who tries to keep him from just blowing everything up all the time. Mm -hmm. And then he just does it anyway. That's fair. That's I mean that's that's my style. So we have a couple questions. Um, will there be co-op or multiplayer? No, in the first one there was no co-op back then, and we're mm -hmm. keeping the game pretty much similar to what it to was. The original. So we're really trying to faithfully recreate the the, the experience that people had in this first game. Mm -hmm. um, will there be any new levels? I know you say you're keeping it core to the original, but are you gonna add a little um, your own flair? Yeah, we're doing the we're doing both. Like we're keeping okay. it very faithful, but we're also bringing back a mission that basically. Um, was planned to be in the game, and we oh. have basically we have the the rough outlines of mm -hmm. what they planned to do back then. Yeah. And so we've recreated that mission, and we're basically so there is one mission that you've never played before. Well, that's really which is neat. quite great, and it's yeah. it's basically uh, exactly according to how it was planned to be in there, yeah. and was just it didn't manage to uh, to put it in. I like that you guys are definitely staying true to the original, but kind of you know updating it for today's audience which is really nice so you'll have that nostalgia but you'll be like oh but it's so much prettier now <laughs> exactly it's basically there's just so many things about the game that perfectly hold up like mm. the story he's really completely an unapologetic evil alien it's none Fair. of that yes. none like anti-hero with the heart of gold <laughs> kind of shit no no no, 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 no. he's just an evil alien who likes to burn down Huge humanity yeah. and that just still is a very unique kind of thing it's an just a great experience to have this wacky 50s invasion story mm -hmm. in an in an actual 1950s America setting, so not a post-apocalyptic thing. Yeah, um, it's just a unique kind of style and all this kind of stuff, and that just holds up. So what we've actually concentrated on is just um, improving the the kind of fluent fluent uh, transition between the different elements of gameplay that you have between the different types of combat you have, like yes. the your weapons, your psychic abilities, so that you can use those all at the same time. Now currently, you can see the uh, the, the telekinesis, Huge fan. Um, which is uh, one of the biggest things in the game, where you can just throw stuff around. The, the team is basically bit by bit adding more and more and more things that you can throw at people, and we just 
You try can. to think of things. Okay, what do I want to throw in somebody's face? An old toilet, <laughs> a cow, a chicken, yes. uh, a tire, whatever. And and you can now do this simultaneously while you fly, while you shoot. Oh wow! All, okay. all together. So uh, speaking of cow, can you appreciate the cow? Sorry. Can you appreciate the cow? Appreciate. That's, that's what a uh, chat is asking. I'm not sure if that's a reference to something. I'm not, in the I'm not quite sure what the question means, and you have to excuse me. I'm from Austria, so English is not my first language. <laughs> you want whether you can appreciate the cow? Can you pray to the cow, the cow gods? Can we all appreciate the cow? Oh, oh well, I think he's just asking whether we're all uh, happy that the cows are nice. The dislocator. <laughs> oh, I guess that was in the second one. Um, okay, so somebody asked, it, are all the levels open world? Uh, yes, they are basically, the game is divided into six different cities. Okay. And once you've unlocked one city, that city in itself is, is open world. Compared to, to modern games if you, where you have one huge city, obviously they're a bit smaller. Yes. But each city is, is very distinct, like this one is basically a turnip seed farm, which is a very rural, very farmland-like level and then you've got the old Washington DC basically you've got a Santa Monica like uh, oh, nice. level on the on the beach mm -hmm. so every le every city is very distinct yes and you've got story missions there but also you can just go there and just burn shit down huge fan um, so what platforms will this be released on Pardon? which platforms will this be released on um, it will be out on PC okay. uh, PS4 and Xbox one so anything about Switch? I know we're getting a lot of questions about as well. Yeah, right now we, we can't really confirm Switch since it's a pretty big game and, and a Fair. very visually heavy game and we have to see if we can make it work on the Switch as well. But, you know, I'm happy it's on PC, so I can't complain there. Yeah, it's um, the first time actually <laughs> that it's playable on PC properly. Yes, yes, I remember it was Thanks. console only. Um, so when will the game be released? Um, it will come out in 2020. 2020? Can and you we'll, say we'll spring, fall? Uh, I, want, I don't want to get you in see. trouble, so if you can't say that, Well, don't let's say it will most likely still be warm when it comes out. Okay, but, that's fair. I mean, in LA, it's always warm. It's, yeah. Well, I mean, it's warmer. Um, yeah. That's fair. Well, we'll see. We'll announce soon, like, uh, a little bit more details about when it will come out. Um, somebody had asked, are the levels bigger than the Destroy All Humans? one the first one are the levels bigger um the levels are pretty similar to where what it was in the original mm -hmm. because we're keeping the mission structures roughly the same we're keeping um the whole game roughly about the same size that they that it was um but as you'll already see on this level we're basically uh, we're we're closer making to your, uh, closer to your mouth closer to your mouth yes okay. there you go <laughs> that is too loud. Um, basically, we're uh, making parts of the levels explorable that in the originals were just barren. Oh, okay. So now we're, there's just much more level dressing, much more little details, I much more uh, little extra tasks that you can do. Oh, that's and nice. those are also spread in parts of the cities that in the original used to be pretty empty. Yeah. So it'll feel a little bigger, even though in, in reality, size-wise, it's, it's pretty much the same. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Um, somebody had asked, will you guys be going to GOG? So I assume you're going out on Steam. What other uh, PC uh, platforms? Um, we're, we're bringing it out on just about every platform. Steam, okay. Epic Games, everywhere. We're, we're currently not participating in the fight. Fair. So we're just bringing it out on... Switzerland, you whoever, stay in neutral. Yeah, yeah. Amazon, Where everybody whatever is your be. favorite platform. Um, will there be uh, any gameplay improvements from the first one? Gameplay improvements from the first one? From the first one. Um, Are you doing uh, anything? I'm well taking the, questions from chat. Yeah. So. Well, basically, the the improvement. Well, what is has been improved in, in comparison to the original game yes. is mainly the combat gameplay. Mm -hmm. So the psychic abilities can be used simultaneously yeah. with uh, the weapons. You can you have more air time when you use the jetpack, so that it's easier to actually shoot from the air. You can throw stuff from the air, so you can pick something up, fly in the, in the, to the sky, throw the cow down onto the farmer who raised it, just whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, apart from that, what we're mainly looking at is, since we want to be very careful with any changes to the, to the original, Fair. we're looking at the second part, looking at what they what uh, improved upon, mm -hmm. and then identifying things that might make sense to do already in the first one. So basically the second one has a feature called Transmogrify, which allows yeah. you to create ammunition, which is just a great system. 
Uh, and we're looking into transporting that to the first one mm -hmm. simply because if they back then, you know, at the sequel decided, look, this would be OP. better so solved like this, then why shouldn't we, you know, bring that over to the first one? But in general, we're trying to stay within the vision that these uh, games set back then. Um, what are you able to talk about pricing at all? About what, how much it'll be? Um, it's not going to be a complete full price title. Okay. But uh, the, the the final pricing is still to be decided. Somewhere but mid tier. It's, yeah, it's okay. it's not a full seventy bucks yeah. title, but. All right, you know, I, I can there. I can un do, I can do the math on that one. Yeah. So hopefully you guys uh, at home can as well. Um, let me see. Somebody had said, is there going to be any Alienware cosmetics? Alienware cosmetics? Yes. Or, or just alien cosmetics? Alienware cosmetics. Yes. I'm asking. In the game? Yes. Um, there's no plans yet, but we're very open for any suggestions. I mean, reach out to us. And you have yes. an alien head, we have an alien head. <laughs> Everybody gets an alien work. head, so yeah, that's. Who knows? Um, will there be any pre order bonuses or deluxe editions? Pre-order bonuses or deluxe editions? Um, we're very much looking into this. Um, it's, it's very likely that we'll at least have a, a, a few collector's editions, something for the fans. Um, and we're going to soon basically announce like what what we can do there, what we're going to offer there. Obviously, fun. he's a he's a very uh, great character to do any any kind of merchandise, any kind of figurine. So we're very excited to, to, to work on this. Um, somebody said uh, it's a disguise system better. The hollow bob. Uh, yes, the, the hollow bob. Basically, it, we changed it a little bit because we took out uh, the concentration feature of the original, which was basically tied to all your psychic abilities and just drained really quickly. Okay. And now you only have basically a, a, a kind of timer on your hollow bob, which means this, this is what they what it's called in the game when you take over a human. So I can basically disguise myself as you and then run around. And as long as I'm dis disguised chaos, as a puny yes. human, then other uh, other humans don't notice me. Um, and they are that, that feature is back, of course, because it's a vital part of the game to just run around disguised as a, as a rural farmer. <laughs> uh, and then so the will ever idiot suspect. humans not seeing you. Um, so we talked about pricing, mid-tier range. Um, coming out to pretty much every platform for the most part. Um, are, is there anything else you'd like to cover that I, I might have missed by chance? Um, I think what you can see currently in the video is um, he's a much more agile character now. So what we've also been trying to do is just give people the experience of, a, of like this really high-tech alien who's just uh, far beyond technology-wise what humans uh, are capable of. So he has a jetpack. He can now use this jetpack to fly and to skate. So basically, oh, you can okay. slide around the ground around. with your with your jetpack. Um, you can boost around, so you have like a dodge system, and all of this is fluently integrated. Oh, you can now that. see him skate basically, and that basically can uh, goes fluently into each other. You can dodge and keep skating, then fly up, dodge again. It's all completely seamlessly integrated. And finally, like two years ago, we were like, yeah, let's 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 just make it. Here, and look at the gameplay. Yeah, so that's actually gameplay footage from the remake. Wow. So yeah, so explain to me, so this is, it is a remake of the game? Yeah, it's a full yeah. remake of Destroyed Humans 1. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's it's not just remastered, it's really created from the ground up. Yeah. But like the story and the basic design is the same. Um, but like graphics is fully modern. Um, and also like um, we took um, a modern spin on like how you control the game, on gameplay elements, uh, obviously cutscenes. So, so that's all, all like newly directed to really fit modern standards. Wow. Well, that's that cool that uh, a classic franchise this come back. So, in terms of the gameplay, I remember obviously there was the stuff we saw in the sort of UFO. There's also kind of a lot of alien action where you're right, running around yeah. shooting, destroying humans. Right. Exactly. So it's, I mean, it's basically the Mars attack setup. So there's yeah. like an alien coming to the planet Earth. Um, he's center because like his colleague was basically missing, missing in action. Yeah. So he has to find him. Um, and they have to go to the planet Earth yeah. because they need the D DNA of humans to survive, right? So that's that's the whole setup, really. Um, and um, there is like um, his boss is basically on the mothership up yeah. in space, and he's he's like giving him commands. They're like the weird, funny dynamics yeah. between the two. So it's. I, I, it's, it's, it's a really cool like like setup and a lot of fun like um, what you would normally not expect it's it has this like tongue-in-cheek humor right that's so, what that's part of the fun of it right it's, yeah said exactly. that Mars attacks if people remember the old uh, Tim Burton movie 
Um, that's awesome. So where is this? It says pre-alpha. So this is a little bit further out in terms yeah, of yeah. So plan? so like we, we're in, we're in pre-alpha. We we're gonna look like like we're gonna release in early 2020. Um, we wanted to show it here, especially E3, because we know there are a lot of like fans here yeah. um, in the U.S. Um, and it's a very U.S. based like topic. I mean, like yeah. the whole game plays in the U.S. So, yes. Yeah. All right. So a little bit of a tease. We'll have to wait a while to play this. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's playable here at E3. Yeah. Like it's helpful, right, right. for everybody. Uh, but yeah. It's going to take like All right, early well, 2020. Right? All right, early 2020, THQ Nordic, always bringing back the fan base. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, that's our mission. Hey, it seems to be working for you, right? Yeah. We're excited to see it. Authorities have issued an official government statement firmly refuting any rumors of alien activity and labeling them communist propaganda aimed at undermining the American way of life. <laughs> Hört ihr mich? Hört ihr mich?